Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. And we're right on time, 10 a.m. Pacific time. And we're going to go ahead and get started. We have a lot of material to cover. We're going to talk about algorithmic trading. We're going to use this with futures and options, if you can believe that. We've got a solution for you. And I think you're going to learn a lot on the way. We're going to actually even talk a little bit about day traders and why only 1% of day traders actually succeed over time. And feel free to reach out anytime, uh, send questions or chat and whatnot. I may not be able to get to everything all at once, but towards the end, we'll have a Q&A. And thank you for joining us. Thanks for Investor Expos for having us. And in the meantime, let's get some of these preliminaries out of the way. Remember, we're speculating and we are trying to make money as prices move up and down and sideways. But of course, there is always risk when you're trying to profit. So with that said, take a moment and look at that risk disclosure. It is important. Remember, all funds committed should be risk capital and past performance is no guarantee of future results. So we're gonna talk about technology that experts are using, something you've never seen, how we can diversify among global markets. We're gonna look at bull markets, bear markets, and even flat market conditions. Yep, someone mentioned inflation already in some of the comments. We're gonna talk about that as well. And how do you trade something like this? That's what you call the chop bucket. And if you think you're good enough and smart enough to trade something like that and sell and buy and sell and buy and sell and buy, um, maybe you are, uh, but not many people are. And we're going to have some new approaches where you don't want to just kind of trust your gut like this poor fly in the Venus fly trap. You need a process. You, see, you need some uh, technology, some automation, and really a methodical, repeatable process. You don't want to be like this poor guy here struggling with how to trade. You need to be more like this robot. That's what we're going to talk about. Pre-built option spreads, one-touch trade alerts, automation for risk profits, bull markets, bear markets, and even non-directional markets. Absolutely, we can do all that. And then we're going to have a demo as well of our automated trading systems. We've got thousands of futures trading systems. These have uh, A lot of these have real money track records and historical performance. Markets moving up or down. The system does not care. The algo has no emotion. It could care less. So we're going to get into that. And then also later on, you can enter your info and we'll get you set up for some uh, free trade alerts and a really unique approach to trade alerts. So stick with us and we're going to use our time wisely and jump into these live demos. Then we'll have a special offer for you, something over uh, $32,000 in value. And that's uh, no hyperbole, folks. And we're going to show you how to get it on board for an enormous discount uh, and actually even for free for some of you. So if you like what you see, we'll show you how to take action towards the end here. But first, we're going to jump into the uh, preliminaries and then these live demos. A little bit about who we are, three trading barriers. And I want you to pause on those three trading barriers and see uh, for yourself if you can relate to them. I think you can. And you don't want to fight the algo traders and the system and the machine, so to speak. And then we'll have that live demo and we'll look at options trading as well and then how to get started and some FAQs. A little bit about who we are. We are AltaVest since 1997. We are a registered brokerage firm. Of course, we're licensed and we have a very experienced staff. And there's some of us on the trading floor, options pit. And I've Probably uh, you've probably seen some of our material over the years, some of the vendors we work with. We get quoted oftentimes on Market Watch. Here we are just a few weeks ago. You can see our name there, AltaVest. So we do have a footprint, and you may have seen our work before. We're regulated by the NFA and CFTC. We're located in California. There's the CFTC and NFA, those are the regulatory agencies in our industry. And we've traded millions and millions of contracts over the years. I think that might qualify us as somewhat of a uh, expert in the space. So the idea here, folks, this guy, he's sitting in his, uh, you know, I guess mad scientist lab trying to figure out what the markets are going to do. You can see the stock ticker up above him here. 
that's from a movie called Pi, by the way. Uh, but the whole, point, the whole point is, don't figure it out by yourself. We're going to look at some solutions developed by industry veterans. That's what we're here for. And just a little bit about myself. I am Eric Gebhardt. I've been doing this about 30 years now, co-founder of AltaVest. Uh, my business uh, degree from University of Southern California, been licensed since 1991. You may have seen some of our presentations over the years. We did a lot of these things in person, but of course, since uh, a year and a half ago, that's not been the case. A lot of it is online, of course. So glad you joined us. And I got started way back in the mutual fund industry, had my uh, securities licenses, 663, uh, soon got my futures and options series three license. And I also have my series 65 investment advisor representative license. So that's a little bit about yours truly. And I think what I'll do here is, now that the introduction is out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that video. You don't need to see me as we as we go along, but three common barriers. 1% success rate for day trading. So what the heck's going on, folks? Here's an article, The Day Trading Pandemic by a famous economist. Here you have this, it says here, Charles Schwab, over a six year period of time. It says here, active traders substantially underperformed a simple low cost index fund traders who traded the most had the worst returns. So kind of think about that, folks. You can overtrade yourself to death. And look at this in Taiwan over a 15 year period, less than 1% of day traders could consistently beat the market and 80% of them actually lost money. And then here's a study out of Brazil. Only 3% of day traders made money, less than 1% made more than the minimum wage. So that's pretty awful. So you can see you're swimming upstream as a day trader. Of course, there's always a few people can make it work, but look at this, Wall Street Journal. Social media making stars out of these people that are pitching popular stock um, memes and so forth, but only bullish. You can only be bullish. It says vast majority of day trading does not produce long-term wealth. Influencers are preying on the part of the brain that has few inhibitions. And that says, I will be the exception to everyone else. That leads to very high risk-taking behavior. And remember, all bulls, you notice it's only basically buy, you know, buying. Uh, the long-running bull market, what's popular are success stories and hot tips only. If the message is bearish, the viewers turn away. So you can see there's a huge conflict of interest with all the noise that you see online. Look at all this. Two-thirds of adults that are new to trading are making their stock trading decisions using social media. Is this who you really want to rely on? Uh, yep, you better think hard about that, folks. Um, this, this is a good one. Just follow what Nancy Pelosi does and members of Congress. Uh, everything they touch turns to gold. So that's, um, <laughs> that's actually not a bad strategy, but of course you don't find out about it till a little bit later. And look at this, this guy made 46 million. Sure, sure he did, okay. And how about this? This 18 year old says, uh, you can trade with 500 times leverage. Does that sound uh, tempting folks? It says he'll give you 500 bucks here, 500 to one leverage. This guy's got a big wad of cash. So anyway, it won't go on and on, but these are basically all stories, narratives, emotion. That's what we want to avoid. You don't want to end up like this, uh, this poor little bull here asking the evil old Wall Street veteran to sell him a stock market fairy tale. So we want to do better than that. And even if you are day trading, are you beating the market? Here's an economist, Mark Skousen, famous economist. Looks like monkeys are better than uh, most day traders. Monkeys outperform the benchmark index by an average of 1.7% per year something to keep in mind. So there's your uh, record hedge fund trader there. <laughs> and remember this too, number three, this is the third hurdle, emotions. Are you able to control your emotions? Mark, uh, I'm sorry, Ed Sequoia here with Market Wizards, a uh, great book. It can be expensive trying to convince the markets that you are right. How many of us can uh, relate to that? You don't want to end up like this. So we want to avoid that, you avoid those emotions, but it's hard because there's a lot of noise. 
It's just some quick little cartoons that kind of make the point, right? Everyone's bullish. Everyone's bearish. Everyone's chattering, you know, jabbering, the talking heads, the pundits. And you get on this roller coaster of emotions. You're, you're euphoric when you're making money, and then you raise the white flag when you're losing, and you're despondent, and then you get optimistic again and start that whole cycle over and over. So remember, Motley Fool says there are three common biases when making investment decisions. Our worst financial enemy is ourselves. We have confirmation, anchoring, and recency bias. We're all guilty of that. And here's one that sums it up. So just leave that there as a brief reminder, folks. Sometimes when everything's going one direction, in this case upwards, that uh, makes a lot of people look like a genius. And remember this, algos are dominating the landscape. What percentage of the market is algorithmic trading? 70 to 80% overall trading volume through the machines, as they call it, the machines. And Bloomberg says robot analysts are outwitting humans on their investment picks. Absolutely, they are. That's called revolutionary trading. And this is what it used to look like, folks. Just a brief uh, little short video I took years ago on the trading floor. Actually, a lot of fun down there. Very effective, quite frankly, very efficient. But now this is what it looks like. This is your competition, automation, built-in controls, no emotion. And how about this? This is really why we're gonna look at this today. This automation technology is a great tool for diversification. And what am I talking about? Remember March of 2020, who can forget? Stock market starts, drops like a rock, the VIX skyrockets. But meanwhile, algorithms probably didn't really care if the market's moving up or down. Here's one particular system. You can look how it performed during the month of March. You can see all the uh, the day-by-day -day gains and losses here. But the point is that whether up or down, algorithms don't care. And of course, past perf performance does not guarantee future results. So let's make that very clear. But nonetheless, that's what we like the non-correlation that these systems offer. So we're gonna look at some algo systems here. These are automated, user-friendly. You can filter for risk and reward and whatever you want. Of course, you can diversify among different markets. Like I said, full automation. Markets go up or down. The machines don't care. You can look at day trading systems or swing trading across multiple sectors. So it is time to jump into the live demo here and meet what we call the uh, new your new robot friends at AV Systems. And give me just a moment, folks, and I will switch screens for you. Yep, and thanks for some of the comments from people. Um, keep them coming in the chat, and questions as well. But for now, you're now looking at my screen for AV Systems. And this is the dashboard. This is kind of the home page or the screen. And really, we're going to just run through these four steps. We'll explore how to choose a system, how you then subscribe to it, how you activate it, and then how do you monitor it. So it's that simple. And you'll notice the first thing here, there's this table with all the systems listed. There's 2,212 at the moment. So we're looking at the first 25 on this page here. That's a lot, I know, and it seems overwhelming, but really it's not. And here's this table. You can sort any of these in ascending or descending order. So for example, let's take a look here. So this is the uh, top performing in terms of ROI, 430%, but let's just pause on that, folks. No one's suggesting you're going to get that kind of return. Uh, year in and year out. This is just, uh, remember, one of those things where the bigger return, the more volatility and the more risk as well. So just that's how you filter uh, for ascending and descending. You can also change the look of that table. Maybe you're not interested in some of these other uh, items on that table, and instead you'd rather uh, look at something else, maybe... Uh, 
that and then you just click OK. So now the table reflects all your choices here. Or you can, of course, go right back to the default setting, which is fine by me. So there's the default. Now, here's the thing. This is really how you start to filter. You can use this tool here in this window. You can type in anything here. And you can see all the gold systems. There's 144 or the uh, the ES systems, E-mini S&P 500 or whatever it may be. Or here's the better way to go about it. You can use this filtering tool and you'll see there are some quick filters. Maybe here's one that says uh, you've got clients in it and the required capital is less than $5,000. So now you see this two criteria have been met and there are 53 systems that meet those two criteria. You could of course edit any of these criteria at any time with that little pencil icon. You could clear those filters and start over. That's fine too. Or you can use this advanced filter tool. This is very, very powerful. This is really where you drill down and end up with maybe just a handful of systems that meet your criteria. Remember, this is what you choose. So you can look at all these criteria and then you can filter. For example, how about we look at only systems that currently have clients, meaning it's being traded with live money. So we've added that as a filter. And perhaps we're looking at, how about this, markets traded. You'll see a list here. These are all the symbols for all the different markets you can choose from. We'll choose the E-mini S&P 500, maybe the NASDAQ as well. And why don't we, let's see, gold or crude. Crude is in the news, right? We're all feeling that at the gas pump. And we'll add that. So you see in the two filters I just added here, you've got 48 systems that meet both of those criteria. Why don't we pick another one? How about this? This is a good one. Suggested capital. This is the amount really we need or you would need to be able to trade a particular system. Uh, you could do that and add that any number you wanted. Let me go back to something. I'm sorry, folks. I was going to pick. Uh, we don't have to filter for that one, but how about. Uh, oh, I know. This is a good one. Type. So the type of system do you want an intraday a day trading system or a swing trading system it's up to you so you can add swing trading and let's click okay so you have these eight systems here that meet these uh filter criteria that you've selected and if you want to drill down on any one of them really simple to do let's uh check out the spartan nasdaq you just click on it and this is what you'll see for every system. It's called a tear sheet. And you'll notice here, we'll follow at the top, the name of the developer is trading the E-mini NASDAQ future. It's a swing trading system. It's $70 a month. And that's a license fee that comes directly out of your account. Okay. And you'll notice it has all the total profit and loss since uh, it was first on the platform here since uh, 2018. Since uh, August 30 of this year, and then a live PL since going live, your worst drawdown, suggested capital. And this is the amount that's needed, uh, even though it says required. It's actually everything is based on suggested capital. So everything is also net of all your monthly uh, license fee and commission. So all the numbers are net. And we'll let's scroll down and take a look a little bit closer here. I won't go through all of it, but you get the idea, annualized return on investment. If you want a description of that, you just click on that icon, just that simple. You can see your percentage of winning sessions is pretty high. Uh, worst drawdown, $3,400. Your best session was $52.98. Uh, percentage of time with an open position is just under 10%. So it's really not too heavily active and so on and so forth. But this is a great little table right here. So you can see back January of 2018, where the background is all white up till August, that means it's all back-tested data. So it's hypothetically back-tested data, but that does account for all trading costs, all licensing, and slippage. And when it turns green, 
that means it's now live trading. So people with live money in a real account are now activate, have activated the system. You can see the first month here had a loss, but then in October, uh, it did very well uh, month to date so far. So doing very, very well. And I also wanna point out, you can go look at everything is visible. So there's no, nothing hidden from you in terms of the trading. So you can look at the trade log or the session log. So you can see the history of all the trades that it's doing. It tells you the trading volume on the day and zero means you're flat or no position. So you can dig into that. You can download the Excel data. And of course you can, instead of trade by trade, you can look day by day. It's called the session log. So hope, uh, hopefully everyone's following me okay. Put something in the chat there and let me know we're doing great. Want to make sure we're communicating okay. And there's your monthly PL again. Now I want to look up uh, look up something here. In fact, I've never looked at this, but look here in March of 2020. We saw that slide a few minutes ago about remember what the stock market did. But here's a system trading the NASDAQ. And if you click on the month there, you can see that. It actually did very, very well and performed very well during the month of March. You can see the trades that it made here, the gains and the losses, and then the accumulated PL. So that's why we like these systems, folks. If the uh, traditional asset classes are doing poorly, uh, some of these systems, of course, uh, may perform very, very well. That's called absolute return or non correlation and or even inverse correlation. So that is a real. Um, benefit in a portfolio, at least we think it is. Now, if you like this system and wanted to activate it, it's a simple thing to do. Every system has a little padlock here next to it. And of course you can see it, uh, you can see it right here as well. And you'd simply click that padlock, buy the license, Just a second here, folks. It's gonna take a minute to uh, pop that screen up. And then this is all you do. This is uh, one unit of the system, meaning, meaning one contract. You would subscribe, buy that license. It'll ask you to read the uh, disclosure. Of course, do that carefully and accept. So now you've bought the license and that, that's deducted directly from your AltaVest account, okay? And the next step would be to activate the system. So you go ahead and activate. Now this is just our demo account and I'm not even sure I have monopoly money, so to speak in the demo account. Uh, but if it doesn't work, that's even a good uh, example of the risk controls because if you don't have enough capital in your account, you're not able to just willy nilly activate a hundred different systems. And you would want to change the multiplier if you want more than one unit of the system you can immediately activate and some systems allow you to get in on the next signal and what have you they're all a little different but you would go ahead and click the uh, disclaimer there after reading it let's see what happens if it doesn't activate that's okay i'll show you what to, what to do next Oh, it's funny. I'm getting lots of comments too about show uh, show this type of system and that type of system. And uh, fortunately, I can't spend a lot of time with this because I have another demo to get through. Um, but we'll show you at the end how you can get involved. All right. So this is a good example here. So it was rejected because of really not enough balance in this demo account. But let me show you what to do. Uh, assuming it was activated, this is where you would find it. I'll just cancel that and assume you activated this system. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it as a favorite for next time. So it turns it into a gold star if you click on that, see that? So now it's saved as a favorite. But remember, we've activated, sort of, <laughs> but let's monitor the performance. So how you do that? How do you do that is by going to My Systems. So this is where it would show up. And you can see there are several systems uh, live and active right now as we speak. Here's a crude oil system. Here's a couple E-mini S&P 500 systems that are activated. Here's a gold system. And here's a NASDAQ, two of them. 
And this one of them here is currently live with a real live position. And you can see here, the last trade was a buy at 15,403 and a half. And the current PL, it's gaining 23 and a half points. Here's the last price on that market. And so far today, it's gaining $462.50. And of course, moving, it's a moving target. The accumulated gains on this system are just over 4,100. So hopefully, you can all see that. And the accumulated PL on all the systems here since being active in this demo count, just about 36,000 right now. And you can see that some of the systems have, here's a gain here, here's a gain on this one, this one's a loss, here's a gain on this one, this one's a loss, here's a gain. So they're not always going to make money all the time, of course. And if you ever wanted to turn a system off, it's real simple to do. You take this little icon here, you click on it, and then you would, or you can even add to it by changing the multiplier or stopping the strategy and it will ask you how you want to stop it. You want to stop it immediately or just not take the next signal. In other words, just get out at whatever stop it, uh, it's, it's going to use. So it's just that simple to activate and deactivate. And then of course, everything is visible. So again, here's all the fills for today. You can change the date here, go any point in time. So all the fills for all the systems, you can see once again, the NASDAQ fill price, 15,403 and a half. Here's any orders in place. <clears throat> so you can see the stop on that order. Is it 15,043? You can see there's a limit order to buy the ES, 4425. So it's a lot of fun to see that. So everything is visible here. Just wanted to point that out. Now let's look at the top 10. Here's a fun page. So these are the top 10 systems on the day. So the current session. So here's a NASDAQ and crude oil, soybeans, uh, wheat. So it's a nice cross section, gold. So these are all the best systems as we speak. And then here we have yesterday. You can see the yellow flashing that's all live. Best system here, you know, uh, gas, unleaded gas, silver, another silver, a couple of silver actually. Don't worry about that word Tesla. That's just the word the developer <laughs> gave that system. It's actually a silver system. Um, so actually quite a few silver systems yesterday did well. And last month, you can see here, NASDAQ, uh, the Nikkei index, the DAX, which is the uh, German stock market index. So you can see all that. So it's kind of a fun place to start if you want um, to know what's really moving and which ones are doing the best at the moment. But remember, past performance <laughs> is not a guarantee of future results. So I have to make that ca caveat there. All right. Uh, yeah, people are asking lots of great questions. I'll get through some of those real quickly here. Uh, yes, one unit is one license. Uh, there is not Forex pair trading, but there is the pound and the Swiss uh, and the, um, I think, you know, the yen and the euro. And some of the systems use trailing stops. Absolutely, they do. And some don't. Some just get in and out without using a trailing stop per se. So it just depends on the system. Great questions, comments. Keep them, keep them coming, folks. All right, so that's going to be it. Uh, for the AV Systems platform. That's a great overview. You can see how much, uh, it's actually a lot of fun to use, but also more importantly, it's very powerful. It can be very effective. And the beauty of it is you don't have to screen watch and babysit your trades. Uh, that's the whole idea. And it provides diversification. You can have these systems running and no matter what's happening with you know stocks, bonds, real estate, the systems are gonna do uh, something completely independent of that. All right, let me switch gears one more time. Yeah, someone asked about Canadian accounts. Uh, unfortunately, we can't work with Canadian accounts unless you have a legal US residence. So sorry about that, folks. So do you feel like you've been drinking from the fire hose? Hopefully not. 
commodities. So we just looked at you know a bunch of commodities. Remember, folks, commodities are in a huge raging bull market. Uh, they actually started back in June. It goes back even for this is the CRB index. So if you want to participate in commodities, whether the index is moving up or down or sideways, AV Systems is a great way to do it. And you don't have to have any experience trading futures because you're not analyzing charts, you're not analyzing the commitment of traders, you're not analyzing supply and demand dynamics. The algorithms are doing that work for you. So you don't need to know anything about copper and soybeans and the DAX and the yen and crude and all that. Algos do the work for you. If you're looking at precious metals, you know, how would you trade this? How would you actually trade this if you're trying to do this on your own? I mean, that that's pretty gnarly. And here's a nice rally. I mean, copper has been inflating like crazy. It's still going off the charts. Energy markets, again, inflation. Crude oil is going to be uh, probably $100 sooner than we realize. Uh, natural gas as well, going ballistic. Even the stock market. You know, the, the Fed is fueling this liquidity driven rally, and it's just probably going to keep going until it doesn't, you know, up the staircase and down the elevator shaft. So we like AV systems and we like the idea that you can have hopefully some exposure to capturing, you know, some moves that uh, aren't necessarily, you know, always going to rely on a bull market. Currencies, here's the euro. And remember, futures volume is, is soaring up over uh, about a the third in the first half of uh, 2020. And I don't have the numbers for 2021. Uh, actually, I do have the numbers for 2021 down here. I should have noticed that. But the point is, this is really, this is where you wanna be folks in futures markets. Liquid, transparent, there's leverage inherent. It's basically uh, the notional value that you're trading is enormous. It's a diversification with an alternative asset class. You can be short or long the system doesn't care. Uh, and a very, very cost effective. Remember, everything I showed you, the results are all net of all cost. Everything is net. Options trading. Let's look at this, folks. How about just trading one market? And we think a lot of smart traders are using our strategy and our indicator. And I think you're going to love it. So let me show you what it is here. Automated option spreads. And we have proprietary trading strategies and technology. We're going to do this on stock index futures markets. So why not individual stocks? Well, first of all, an index is always less volatile and we have a proprietary strategy that's not available with individual stocks. And you can, of course, focus on just one market or two markets, you know, one or two indexes. There's like 3,800 or 7,000 something individual securities to follow. You know, that's a nightmare. Look at here. This is kind of a, you know, an extreme example, but we talk about volatility. Here's GameStop overlaid with the S&P 500. Almost looks like a boring flat line. So that's that's what we mean by less volatility. And let me show you here a little bit about options and options uh, premium, collecting premium like an insurance company does. We all know how insurance companies make money. We're paying premiums and the insurance company uh, insures against risk. But of course, they're just looking at probabilities and math. That's all they're that's all they're doing, actuarial statistics. And in the long run, the odds are always in their favor. Just statistics. That's all they're looking at, folks. Expected this, expected that, distributions of this and that, actuarials, just like a casino. Same thing they do. They're using math and probabilities. All the games. In the, in the casino or of course, uh, math, mathematically in their favor, some of them very highly in their favor, some not as much, but if you spin that wheel, bet on that green, you do it a hundred uh, bucks at a time, your loss is gonna be on average over time, $5.26 per spin. So that's a huge house advantage. So how do we apply that same kind of advantage with you know, trading commodities? and options more specifically. And it's really just the law of large numbers. You know, you flip a coin enough times and you're gonna get 50, 50 heads and tails. It's all, it's all it really comes down to. So how can we be the house when we're trading options? We like short option strategies where you collect premium. It can be non-directional, can be bullish, can be bearish, but we really like the higher probability outcomes by selling premium 
And we're going to show you how to do that. And this is always with predetermined risk. This is not unlimited risk. These are credit spreads. Everything is insured, predetermined risk and reward, and non-directional. You don't have to be bullish and you don't have to be bearish. So there's a lot, large margin of error. Don't worry about this chart. I'll explain it in a minute. But you know, here's the S&P moving in this between this upper boundary and lower boundary. And that's what we're looking at. First, let's look at a couple of Greeks. Let's uh, speak a different language. Real simple, folks. If you know this, it goes quickly. If you don't, uh, you're going to think, wow, I, you know, that's an aha moment. So delta, it's simple, folks. It just means the approximate probability of expiring in the money. That's all it means. So for example, if the delta is 0.25, that means there's a 25% chance that option expires in the money. But conversely, this is the important point, 75% chance it expires worthless. Okay, so that is delta, that simple, and it's always moving with price and time. And it does not represent the probability of a winning trade. And remember theta, that's the other one we're looking at here. Theta is time decay. And remember options are a wasting asset. They have limited lifespan. So theta just represents essentially a negative number equaling one day of time decay. So if it's negative 0.05, the next day the premium is 9.95 and the next day it drops to 9.90 and so on, just because of this theta decay. So that's what it looks like on a graph. This is the value of the, the percent of the premium of the option. It starts to fall and fall and fall just because time is passing. That, that's just that simple. Now, how about selling a call spread? Here's an example. The red line, you sell that call, the 4550 call, you, you receive four and a half points. You put that in your pocket. And at the same time, you buy the out of the money call 20 points above it, you pay two and a quarter. So the net result is you get to keep $112.50 in your pocket minus your commission. So that's just that simple. Selling a put spread, just the opposite. You collect three points by selling a put, simultaneously buy a put, pay a point. The net result is you collect two points or a hundred bucks. And remember, these are not naked options. No naked options, folks. Maximum risk is capped in advance. These are covered spreads. And that means no margin calls and no unlimited risk. If people are telling you to trade naked options, I would run the other way. Don't do it. It might work for a long time. And then when it doesn't work, you're going to give it all back and maybe go negative. So trust me, don't do it. Now, here's a weird thing weird name, an iron condor. It's not that weird, folks. It's just a put spread and a call spread in combination. And that's all it is. You sell an out of the money call spread, collect the premium, sell an out of the money put spread and collect the premium and look for the market to stay in that wide range. But of course, the trick is how do you know which options to sell? How do you know when to get in and when to get out? So we're going to show you that way in just a second. Here's our weird strategy, as some people call it. So we'll show you that here in just a second. We'll reveal that here. It is called the dragonfly, something we came up with years ago. We just like that name. We thought it was appropriate. Six-legged option spread. It's just a variation on a condor. And what am I talking about? Let me explain this graph, and it'll make a lot of sense. It's real simple. Here's what you do. You sell four of these calls, that's the red line. Buy three further out of the money calls and one closer to the money call. And that's the call side, same structure on the puts. Selling four, buying three, and then buying one closer to the money. Now you'll notice here, if you can see it on your screen, you sell the 4060 calls in this example, but you buy one of the 4010 calls. So the one that you buy here is 50 points closer to the money. 
compared to these that you sold. And same with the puts. So you own a put that's 50 points closer to the money compared to the ones that you sold. That completely changes the risk and reward dynamic of this trade compared to a condor. And we're gonna show you that in our technology in just one second. And here's what I was kind of getting at. How would you even know where to begin? Which market to use, which options to buy and sell, what strategy to apply, at what price, you know, what's the entry, how do you manage the risk and reward? A lot of questions. And that's why we're here, folks. Theta Trader is the answer. That's a great picture. A couple of our floor traders from years ago. Uh, pre built option spreads. We have a proprietary algorithm and it creates what we call theta trades every day. So strategy automation, bull bear, flat market uh, strategies as well. And then automation with the risk and profit tracking called the risk thermal indicator. And I'm gonna show you that. So Theta Trader is simple to use. It's effective options trading with spreads. And then we can automate profit and risk. So we're gonna jump into a demo. And I see other comments too. Uh, I'll get to some of that and maybe just a couple quick things. Uh, yeah, some of the algorithms that we just looked at with AV systems, some of the swing trading systems will for sure um, hold on to positions and try to ride a trend for a long time. And yes, on the algorithm, if you pick a, a day trading system, it's always going to be out by the close of that day. So you don't have a position over the weekend. So, all right. And let me go ahead and switch gears, folks. Got to juggle three screens here. So just bear with me. All right, I'm getting some other questions. We'll get to that shortly, but let me know folks, hopefully you can all see my screen there. It says Theta Trader. Are we all good? I don't wanna keep going unless I can confirm that we're, yep, good. It's not always clear when you're using these Zoom technologies that the audience can see what you want them to see. <laughs> so here we have it folks. This is the dashboard for Theta Trader. Let me see if I can expand this just a notch so you can see it better. I always like it when it's nice and big on, on a webinar. I don't like struggling to see what the, the other person's doing. All right, now you'll see here the theta trades, open short positions, any open bot positions down here, your account info here. This is all from your um, integrated with your AltaVest trading account, and then any current quotes here in the stock indices. So. The best thing to do, we'll just start at the beginning here. You'll see there are bullish strategies that are pre-populated, uh, bearish, and these are all pre-built. And there's neutral or non-directional. And we're looking at these three markets, the E-mini S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and Russell 2000. And since we focused on the condor and the dragonfly, that's what we're gonna look at. We're gonna drill down into the condor. So remember, the algorithm has already built these trades for you. You've had to do nothing except click here and take a look. You have trades that are from 16 to 58 days till expiration that the algorithm has pre-built. All the strike prices are selected for you. This is your maximum profit potential at expiration on each trade. And then your targeted annualized return at expiration. Keep in mind, this is really to compare one trade to another. You can't expect to uh, every 16 days, maximize your profit and place a new trade that's exactly the same. So keep that in mind. And I'll drill down on this one here. This is the uh, the Dece E-mini S&P. And we're going to look at, first of all, what I, what I call the bird's eye helicopter view. So you're selling this call spread and selling this put spread. And that's what it looks like. And we won't go through every one of these, but you'll see here, you'll see basically the days till expiration, the expiration date, the settlement value. And here's here, we'll, we'll focus on this real quickly. The cash required to place the trade, 921, and the profit potential at expiration, 79. 
targeted return on cash, 8.58%, and then your targeted annualized return. And you'll see the strike prices are pre-selected for you and filled in, but if you wanted to change them, you could, but really the algorithm has said, hey, you ought to trade these. <laughs> so that's the suggestion from the machine. <laughs> so we like to stick with what the algo says. And let me point out something here. The 4020 put, that has a delta of 9.78. That means there's over a 90% probability this option that's being sold will expire out of the money. And look at the call, the 4840, 6.31 delta. So you have over 93% probability that this option will expire out of the money. And remember, these are the E-mini S&P 500. These are futures options. And I'm going to show you why it's beneficial to trade futures options and not uh, on the SPX, for example. But we'll get to that in just a second. So you'll see it's already pre-populated as a sell. The quantity defaults to one, but you can change it. If you change it to, say, four, you can see your cash required goes up, you know, the appropriate amount, and so on and so forth. You can leave the pricing there at two, or if you wanted to try to get a little more, you could move it. But we will go ahead and move that, uh, leave that in there at a quantity of four and place that trade. And there it is. It just assumes you're filled because it's a demo account, of course. But, uh, and actually earlier today, you see a dragonfly got exited. And I'll show you in a second here what that means. So it's just that simple. That's how you place an order. And let's look at the Dragonfly. And then I'm going to show you a really neat feature about Theta Trader. You can back test these options and these spreads. So we'll choose a Dragonfly. We'll use this uh, same expiration, the uh, December. Just for kicks, let's look at the graph. Now you'll notice here, the 4790 call is in this case, 50 points closer to the money and the same with this put. So sometimes the algo will make it a 50, 60, 70 point closer to the money, uh, sometimes 30, 40. It just depends, of course. That's the magic behind the curtain. It's not always the same. And you'll notice the cash required is higher almost 5,000 because you're selling four puts and four calls. So each dragonfly is in, in increments of uh, four. So the next, if you did two dragonflies, it would be eight and so on. And the same thing here with the strike prices. It's the same as the uh, condor that we looked at because it's the same expiration. So you have the same deltas. So you have that higher probability outcome, you know, 90 to 93% probability that these options will expire out of the money. You'll notice the targeted return on cash is a little bit less compared to the Condor. Uh, that's because, remember, you pay money for this, this call and this put here. So you're paying money for a little bit of additional insurance. It's a slightly more risk-averse strategy and trade structure. We'll go ahead and do two of these. You can see the pricing here, just over six, and we'll place that order. And there it is. Now here is a great feature. Let's go back in time, a little bit of a time machine. There's a simulator and I've loaded some trades here already. Let me squeeze this down. This will kind of illustrate the difference between the condor and the dragonfly. Here's a condor from May 1st. And we'll use this, uh, you can use these buttons to go play the day by day and you know, I'll show you here what that means. You know, each uh, line here is one day and you can see here the trades turning profitable as theta decay starts to work. And this is green, the RTI is green and that means good, do nothing. Oops, and let me show you here, look at this, a lot of color here, like a Christmas tree. Yellow and orange are slightly elevated risk. And you can see the trade was profitable and then it started turning negative. Now, if you didn't have an algorithm to help you, how would you know what to do? Would you panicked 
and just pulled the plug and got out of the trade right here. I don't know, maybe, but it turns back to green. Oh, let me do this here. And then it turns blue. Blue means take profits. This is your profit taking signal. And I want everyone to kind of, um, I don't know, just notice that I'll show you in just a second, but this can be automated. Meaning Theta Trader will monitor your position, track it for you. And if it turns blue, it will close out that position for you. It places the order for you and you don't have to monitor it and you don't have to babysit it. So that's that simple. Now, I wanna show you the dragonfly. Now, remember here, this was on June 24. Remember that date is when you had a profit taking signal. So here is a dragonfly on the same day at the same expiration. And let's take a look at what happens. This trade turns profitable on May 28, over, well, almost four weeks uh, earlier. So that's the beauty of the dragonfly. Oftentimes, it gives you a much earlier chance to get out of your position, cover the trade, and move on to the next. It will mature or ripen, as we say, much more quickly, oftentimes, because of, of course, a totally different dynamic. The call you own here, the put you own here, will lose theta decay slower and it will gain in value quicker uh, because you own it and uh, it's closer to the money that's an, an, an advantage for you so you can see here again allowing you to get out at a much earlier opportunity here's uh march 4 of this year here's a condor I forget, I forget what happens on this. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> that's right. This one really made you wait. <laughs> uh, for two days till expiration, it finally gave you a, a signal to get out because there's too much risk. So you had to take a, a, a loss here and, and run with two days till expiration. That one really um, would have kind of had you pulling your hair out, I think. Now, that same trade expiration on the same day, how about a dragonfly? Look at this, folks. Did you notice that? March 24, 38 days till expiration, you have a profit taking order that's triggered for you. So instead of a losing trade, even another one, either another couple of days right afterwards, the dragonfly actually matured and you were able to take profits. So there's another big difference between the condor and the dragonfly. And here's another condor example. June 2nd, I'm sorry, January 2nd. Look at that, turns uh, orange, high risk. I think it keeps going here, yep. Keeps going and it triggers an exit, exit strategy or signal, I'm sorry. So you take a loss when it turns red, too much risk and the algorithm said we can't take any more risk. How did the dragonfly do? Look at this. You had an opportunity that day to get out for a profit, actually. And again, the, uh, the dragonfly has a completely different characteristic compared to the condor. And you know, I also want to point out one thing too. You don't have to uh, use this play button all the time. You can just go right to the end. I'm just doing that to kind of illustrate uh, the functionality of the simulator. So with that said, let me show you then how to automate this. You go to my account, you go to settings, and all you do is click this box, activate risk manager, activate profit directive, and you don't have to babysit and screen watch. Theta Trader will monitor your position for you and close out that trade for you when it turns either red for a loss or blue for a profit. So 
Remember, we're not holding on to trades through expiration. You don't want to hold on to these kind of trades all the way to expiration. There's not enough juice uh, juice left in the trade, so to speak, uh, to hang on to trades and try to squeeze out every last uh, bit of, of gain. Now, also, we do proprietary research. We have our TradeScope newsletter. Yeah, thanks for the comments, guys. Um, keep them coming on the dragonfly. If someone's asking about uh, Europe. Uh, it depends on the country you're in, but send me, I'll show you the contact information soon. You can ask me specifically where you're located and whether or not we can work with you. But we do this uh, every day. Our TradeScope newsletter helps inform our clients. They absolutely love it. And we also have our daily trading summary. So we do this every day with uh, Europe and Asia and what's happening here in the future, talking about Paul Tudor Jones and looking at some support resistance, any economic data. So that's a narrative of what's going on just to keep you informed. And we also have a great help file here. I won't spend any time on this, but just so you have an idea, I mean, everything you need to know, Theta Trader is very user-friendly and intuitive anyway, but if you want any additional info, it's all all within the help file and also within your uh, tutorials. These are all videos and we have education as well. These are all videos. If you need to brush up on any uh, basic or advanced strategy, it's all here for you in the help file. So let me go back to the dashboard and let me show you a couple things real quickly and then I'll show you the best feature of all. This is how, at a glance, you can see any open short positions, of course, or any bought positions. So Theta Trader can also buy uh, spreads. That's fine too. You know, you could. Uh... In, in fact, here's I'll show you this. Here's one we call a bear hedge. If maybe you're wanting to hedge your portfolio or just bearish, just the name we came up. It's really a synthetic short futures position in some ways, but this is what it essentially is. Your Oh, let me show you that. You sell an out of the money call spread. And with the money you receive, you buy an out of the money put spread. You can usually do this for uh, even money or even a credit. And Theta Trader will once again track it for you so that if the short side of the trade uh, comes under pressure, it will monitor the risk and reward for you. And the same thing on the long side of the trade too. But we do like to focus on selling premium. You know, that's the higher probability outcome, as we all know. And let me show you the positions here. So you can see all your open positions, not only on the dashboard on this page here, but you can see in more detail on your open positions page. But you can see here at a glance, everything's green, nothing to do. And you can see the history of any trade here, you know, going back in time. And then Finally, let's look at our closed positions. Now, remember, this is just a demo account. I don't put any thought at all into any of the trades. I just select them like you just saw me. But it turns out that you know if you're selling premium and uh, dragonflies in particular, and the markets are cooperative, I mean it's it's going to win most of the time. <laughs> um, and that's what you see here. You see 18 winners, two losers, um, 16 short positions that were winners, zero losers, and then two uh, long positions that won and two that lost. Uh, but don't make too much of the wins and losses here. I'm just pointing out that this is what you would look at on your closed position. And, and of course, if you wanna look at any um, history, you just click on it, that particular trade. So here's an iron condor from uh, August 3, got out on September 10, took a gain, and you can just kind of go back in time and follow the path of that trade. And you can see here the blue RTI and then everything is set up automated on the demo account. I don't touch a thing with the RTI, trigger that blue and place the order and close out the positions for me. All right, so there's a few other little odds and ends, but uh, by and large, that is it, it's that simple. But here's the best feature of all, if you bear with me. Just a, just a second here, folks.
All right, we are back. Hopefully you see the screen that says let's demo. Someone could confirm that, that'd be great. And here we go. Let's make it easier. How about trade alerts? Quite literally, these are not even one minute. They're probably 10 second trade alerts. One touch responsive alerts. So you touch, accept, or reject. You can see that's all you do. You have a green and a red button, not even a button, just an icon that you touch. So remember, these alerts are live, meaning they're integrated with your account. So if you touch accept, the order's placed. Our Theta Trader technology processes it, handles it, submits it. Your orders flow through to the CME, Globex Exchange, get populated back in Theta Trader. The RTI then automatically tracks it for you, and you can go on with your life. You do not have to read a stupid email and try to copy something into another platform or you know whatever. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's uh, 21st century folks. Text alerts and emails are not cutting it anymore. So here's an example. You'll receive a, an email or a text either way. And then you just touch the active link. And you'll see a graph of the trade, an explanation of the trade. I wanna point out here the premium collected the cash required. And you see here, the quantity is already pre-sized for your account. It's already selected a quantity of five. And that's because DataTrader, of course, knows what's in your account, knows how to allocate your capital, and it's all done for you. Oh, let me do that again, folks. Sorry, that was my, what do they call that a fat finger. And if you like what you see, you touch accept and the order flows through and that's it. And then here's another version. Uh, you can see the same kind of thing just with a different phone, a little bit of a closer view. Yeah, you can see it's a couple of years old, but same thing. Again, pre-sized, this happens to be a Condor. And if you like it, you touch accept and that's all you have to do. All right, folks, if you want to go ahead and uh, try it, uh, we can only work with a, um, if, if you want it on your smartphone, it only works with a US 10-digit uh, phone number at the moment. Uh, if you're somewhere else, not in the US, uh, you can simply use your email address, but we also need your wireless carrier name. So if you want to go ahead and use the uh, chat window or uh, you know whatever, um, I'm sorry, yeah, the chat window and send that to me as we uh, get ready to kind of go through some Q&A and wrap things up. We'll get you set up with some of these alerts. You can try them out. Basically, all we need is your 10 digit US cell number and wireless carrier or your email address. And we'll let you guys, uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I see people coming in exactly. Perfect, perfect. Now, here we go. This is how to get started, how to get involved. It's called our VIP membership. So remember, automated futures trading, you saw the systems. You get all of that R&D, all the, the programmers and the system developers uh, working behind the curtain. Over 2000 systems, multiple market sectors. You saw how transparent all the trading is. So you're in full control to activate or deactivate at any time. Everything's automated. There's day trading or swing trading systems. You can watch live performance. So we have spent, you see all those dollar signs? We've spent more than that on systems and developers, uh, FX, futures, options over the years, you name it. I mean, it's seven figures, folks. This is not a small task. Costly and time consuming. We figured one programmer to build one algo for one market, just over almost 
but yet you've got all of that plus your uh, what we call our A-list research. These are the, the top picks that we come up with. So we'll make those available to you as well. Our own in-house uh, top picks here. So that research there, $2,952 value. So you have all those system algos. I mean, that's one algo at $10,800, but we have over 2,000 algos available. You've got the A-list research valued at over $13,700. Then you have ThetaTrader, the options trading solution. You've probably never seen anything like it. I know I haven't. It doesn't mean uh, I've seen everything, but I think I've seen most, <laughs> most everything out there. And you have the software that basically builds those spreads for you. It creates a spread for you. It tracks it, monitors it, closes it out according to its algorithm. Simple, effective selection and tracking. You have that risk thermal indicator, color-coded, automation, autopilot, non-emotional. That's what we want to do, be non-emotional, get out of our own way. You just activate the risk manager and profit directive and then walk away. It's all you have to do. And then the trade simulator. I've never seen backtesting on six-legged option spreads. If anyone has seen it, I'd love to hear. Put it in the chat. But I've not seen it. It's actually a lot of fun. It's a very powerful tool. Very effective. Yeah, that's right. I'm seeing people say, no, no, no. <laughs> that's right. So remember, you have all the pre-generated spreads, the automated risk thermal indicator, the trade simulator, that software valued over $3,500. And remember the trade alerts too, completely unique and totally integrated and live with your account. These trades are all pre-sized for you and your account. And I've seen a lot of trade alert services. And in fact, I get people talking to me almost weekly about trade alerts that they're using and how they're unhappy with them and how maybe they make mistakes when they try to transpose the alert into their account and oh, they do a buy sell error or something. I mean, that's the worst, a buy sell. Whew, okay, so that value over $4,400. Absolutely, that's undervalued folks. So with ThetaTrader, you have a value of over $8,000. Now here's the thing and let's not uh, get distracted as I just kind of make the final point here. You have the algo trading platform, AV systems. You have the Theta Trader options trading platform and the trade alerts. Now you have a private coach to help you bring it all together. You can have one hour screen sharing sessions, someone who's licensed and experienced. You know, we're not just chat bots. We're not, you know, we're not uh, just a kind of a, a phone app Robin Hood thing where you're just kind of doing this high velocity nonsense and following memes. We're real people with real experience doing this. We'll work with you, private coaching sessions, whether it's AV Systems or Theta Trader. pick your topic, we'll work with you. So you have that co-pilot you can develop a relationship with, discuss strategy, review, you know, review any trades, whatever it may be, valued at least $7,500. I think it's probably, I don't know, I've I've worked with you know other thing other entities and vendors and things over the years and people are spending and and you know charging twenty five fifty thousand dollars for education and products and systems and whatnot and that's okay that's fine but what we're saying is if you want to use systems and Theta Trader with us we're going to provide that coaching as part of the package. So AV Systems, Theta Trader, with the alerts and the coach. Oh, I just had that. I went backwards in time. Sorry, guys. $29,304 value. And then let me get a little corny. Remember the bonus here. You have our proprietary trade scope and daily commentary research. That's our in-house research. Only get it from us. And of course, remember those video tutorials I mentioned. We just make that available, of course, to anyone uh, using the platform. Over $32,000 value for everything we've just gone through. And we used to do um, 
let me show you this real quick though. I think here's 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 why I put this in here because people will comment. If this is the one thing I've been looking for, to use that word one. This is the one thing I want. This is the one thing I need. Oh, I don't have to do all these other subscriptions and newsletters, and I can save so much time. So that's why I threw that in there. I think we can kind of relate to that. And yes, people are paying tens of thousands for systems and software and alerts. So here's our VIP offer, and it is a live webinar. And we used to do these things in person, of course, but we had to move uh, online. And in the past, we used to make these available. Uh, actually, it was over for both together with the coaching. It was uh, over $4,049. Now we're doing this online. $29.97 is not going to work. $19.97 is not going to work. We'll get you a big, big discount before Sunday night. $7.97. One payment that's just lifetime member. I'm under stress because we always get that question. $797, one payment, lifetime, and that's it. There's our link, cf.altavest.com forward slash VIP. There's my that's my direct phone number. So um, feel free to call. If I don't pick up, it's because I'm on the phone. So it'll go to voicemail or someone else will pick up. Now, no excuse, folks, 30-day guarantee on that membership fee. If you don't like it in 30 days, we'll just refund it. Believe me, we don't want, uh, you know, we don't want to keep you captive or hostage if it's not something you like. So no trouble with that. 30-day guarantee, no excuse. Use that link, get yourself signed up. And if you want a free membership, people love this offer. Everyone wants something for free. It's our favorite word. Uh, $100,000 account, we'll just rebate that membership fee to you. No questions asked there. So now here's a couple of FAQs. Tax efficiency, lower your taxes by 10% on your investments. Trade futures and options. I don't mean, I mean futures and futures options, not just <laughs> stock options or stocks. Big difference. Over a 10% savings, folks. 10% savings when you're trading with futures. And when I say futures, that means basically the futures space, futures and futures options. They're tax efficient. Here's, here's an example. You're trading stocks, you get a 20% return. You're gonna pay 7,400 in tax, the rate of return of 12.6%. If you're trading with us, the same return, you only pay 5,360 in tax tax savings of over $2,000. This is tax efficiency. This is where you want to be. No more itemizing either. None of those wash sales and all that baloney. And IRA accounts. Yes, you can use a self-directed IRA. Benefits, of course, uh, you can help diversify your portfolio, add investments with a low correlation to stocks and bonds. Might, might help control volatility and limit downside risk. Why the E-minis? They're liquid, they're efficient, and they're cost-effective. So if you didn't know, it's two and a half times larger than all TFs or ETFs around the world, the E-mini S&P 500. Imagine that, something trivia there we didn't probably know. And look at this, compared to the SPY, the E-mini S&P 500, almost 10 times larger, average daily dollar volume. This is where you want to be. I know the big focus is oftentimes on, you know, the stock indices and this and that. That's just because there's so much hype and hysteria and hyperbole, and it lends itself to, you know, all the memes and whatnot, because you have all these individual high-flying stocks and IPOs, and it lends itself to a good story. But meanwhile, you've got the, uh, the real activ activity in action is in the futures markets. Five reasons to trade, volume, liquidity, access. Look at this, almost 2 million on the E-mini in September, average daily volume, almost 2 million. And the ES options offer superior execution, cost savings of four to $15 per contract, according to the CME group. So you have those tight bid offer spreads, that's what that's all about. And how about superior execution with these ES options, remember, um, there's one point I want to make. If you want to do a dragonfly on the stock in the stock market, whether it's an index or an individual stock, it's a nightmare. You can't. You can't do it. It's just because the markets are structurally 
different to do a dragonfly at one price as one trade, one order, or they call it one object. So you can do six legs at one price. And if you, if you, if you try to do that with a, um, a stock, you can't. You're gonna have to do a four-legged spread and then add a two-legged spread to it. You have to leg in with two orders and then leg out with two orders. It's very cumbersome, it's terrible. I've seen people try it, doesn't work. That's a huge advantage. How about this large market share? You have all the strike prices and expirations you need. That's called granularity. So, you know, if you have some puts and calls here and you want to do another trade, here's your next uh, tranche of calls and puts and your next tranche here of puts and calls, so on and so forth. So when the algorithm is searching for the strikes and expirations it needs, it can find them because it's a liquid market. Here's another advantage, just track one or two markets, not thousands. We talked about efficient margin use compared to stocks, and there's a clear, clear cost structure. So basically, what am I talking about? Well, remember we're trading at the CME group options on the Globex exchange. It's electronic marketplace and every order is treated the same. There's no third party nonsense like this payment for order flow. You know, this whole Robin Hood thing, um, look at this. They say they're commission free. Well, it just means their orders are executed at prices that were worse. That's all it means, folks. Costing customers $34 million. The SEC uh, fined them $65 million because they're misleading customers. And it's not just Robin, it's anyone that claims to have free trading. No such thing. You're just paying for it in a way you can't see. You're trying to save a penny, but you lose a nickel. And then here's David Einhorn, famous investor. Payment for order flow is disguised commissions. If you want the broker to work for you, you pay a commission. Nothing of value is truly ever free. So I'm not gonna beat up anymore on all that because we all need to you know, have some sort of brokerage account for stocks and whatnot. Not that you can't trade stocks, but let's not fool ourselves. It is not free. So then here's the question. Our rates are five and a quarter round turn all in. Very competitive. Want to clarify, round turn all in. Here's a screenshot from a big box brokerage firm and they say their rates are two and a quarter. That's per side folks, per side. And then they add more fees on top, clearing and exchange fees, and then it ends up higher than what we charge. So our rates are very competitive. And remember everything is net. So once again, Theta Trader and AV Systems, everything I showed you is net of all trading costs. And of course, everyone's performance is different because everyone uses Theta Trader differently. Self-directed traders make their own decisions. What size of account? Uh, we suggest a minimum of 50,000 if you want to do the VIP membership and do systems and Theta Trader. So yeah, I think that hopefully answers some of the questions I see. And of course, we talked about the IRA, uh, individual, joint, corporate, LLC, trust, just like any brokerage firm, any type of account, absolutely. Yeah, and all your accounts, of course, uh, we are the brokerage firm, AltaVest. So we've been, since 1997, we've been a brokerage firm, and this is our technology that we developed for our clients. So it's proprietary to us. And why alternatives? Well, they improve diversification and lower portfolio risk. So they may do all the above. They might help smooth the impact of market volatility, might generate higher returns in a diversified portfolio that includes alternatives. And look at this, folks. Stock market cap to GDP ratio now is 30% higher than it was in the 2000 peak. And of course, that's all liquidity driven from the Fed, as we know. And that may persist for a while longer. I don't know, but this is interesting too. The market cap share of the S&P 500, looking at the the FANG stocks here, basically 25% of the S&P 500, almost 26% really, is uh, just in a handful of stocks. And this was interesting too, the growing danger of S&P 500 ETFs and funds, 10 top stocks in the S&P have 25% of the index's weight in terms of capitalization, and the tech sector, tech sector comprises 
So it's called the tech tilt and is at a historic high. And the only time it came close was in 2000 when things did not end well that time around and the S&P fell 50%. So there's just a, a concentration risk uh, folks in the S&P 500 right now. And you've got inflation kind of beating us up, even though the government says it doesn't exist. They're just, they're completely delusional or just good liars or poor liars. Um, here's the CPI. Consumer price index. This is how the you know the Fed claims there's no inflation, right? Everything we buy is. And here's the PPI, producer price index. I'm gonna use car prices. This is just from I think a couple of weeks ago, up through July. But we we know what's happening out there, folks. I won't go spending too much time on all this, but I'm just trying to point out that there's a lot of forces working against us. So it's probably a good idea to consider to have some alternatives, some alternative strategies and approaches. Yeah, cost of living increases, jumping almost 6% because inflation is so high. Yeah, like I said, here's Uncle Sam. I don't see any inflation. And the guy says, well, maybe we should turn on the light. Yeah, so um, that's a good one. Paul Tudor Jones, one of the best out, out there, says inflation is worse than feared. Biggest threat to markets and society. Carl Icahn. Market over the long run will hit the wall because of money printing. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, um, people have been saying that for a while too, but that is true. Um, inflation hitting his entire portfolio. Absolutely. It's hitting all of us. It's, I'm just kind of pointing this out. Peter Schiff, I've actually met him. He's kind of a character, as you know. Um, inflation bites, it says here. Americans may have seen more money in their wallets, but they were able to buy less with those dollars. It's tough getting beaten up by the worst bout of inflation in 30 years. Absolutely. Look at that central banks total of all the major central banks and uh, their total assets on their balance sheet, basically money printing, just unbelievable. This is interesting here. There's an indicator for a stock market prediction. It says the 10 years don't look good the next 10 years because Americans have a high allocation to equities, suggesting that's a contrarian indicator. Well, we'll see about that, but it says here, this indicator since 1951 has been able to predict 70% of the changes in the stock market's 10 year return. And it says the indicators projecting the S&P will produce a total real return of negative 4.2% over the next decade. So you've got a low correlation to alternatives. Um, that's why we like alternatives is the low correlation. Remember, not correlated to a benchmark is an absolute return vehicle. All stocks, stocks and bonds, or maybe a slice of that alternatives pie is uh, what we think is a good idea and what, you know, what we focus on. So there you have it. You can choose that VIP membership. You've got that 30-day guarantee to kind of browse through it if you'd like, or just continue doing what you're doing on your own either way two choices and we're getting here to the end, but we think um, that VIP membership makes a lot of sense for a lot of people. We think it's kind of the best way to use automation in your favor. And we'll leave it at that. So I think we're getting a few other comments and questions along the way. And I'm not sure someone asked about, yes, we are the brokerage firm. And we've been doing this since 1997. Someone asked, can we trust your service? Uh, well, we're a brokerage firm. So since 97, we're regulated with NFA and CFTC. You can take a look at our, our registration. It's all public uh, information online. Um, but yeah, so if that answers the question, hopefully. Sure, you can send support or email questions. You can send an uh, email directly to me, Eric, E-R-I-K at altavest.com that goes to me or you can send to info 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 at altavest.com that's fine and someone's asking about i'm not sure what they're saying but i see spx um i'm not sure what the question is but no we're trading futures options we're trading the es primarily and the uh nq and rty no, we're not looking at zero days to expiration trades. We're not uh, moving that quickly. This is more low velocity. So the algorithm is typically looking at trades. 
I'd say a minimum of 30 days up to maybe 70 days, depending on market conditions. So it might be like watching paint dry at times. Unfortunately, if you're looking for excitement, you probably won't find it with DataTrader. Although the AV systems platform, a lot of these systems can be very, very active day trading systems. So, all right. And let's see here. Well, we're only trading, we're not trading stocks. So we asked about short-term stock trades and ETFs. We're trading futures options and the algos are trading futures markets like um, crude oil or the Euro or the E-mini S&P 500 or NASDAQ. So hopefully that answers the question. And how many trades per week with Theta Trader? That's a good question. It, depending on the conditions, if the VIX is getting elevated, it can be more active, but I'd say one to two. And it depends on the size of your account as well. If you don't have uh, uh, you know, the capital in the account, you won't be able to really take all the trades all the time. Yeah, so those are good questions. And what else? Yeah, and if you know, people asked earlier about Canada and parts of Europe, uh, send me an email with where you're located and I'll let you know if we're uh, able. I, mean, I We would love to have you, we just can't. There's regulations, Canadian regulations and regulators are, well, they're a piece of work and the EU is, um, they're a piece of work too. So they don't make it easy to do business. Um, it's just a regulatory thing on their end. It's not us at all. We'd love to work with you. Uh, let's see, someone had a question here. Yeah, I don't understand the question. Maybe you could repeat it. We are you, why should we trust your service if you take the other sides of the trades? Well, I mean, we're a brokerage firm. We're not a proprietary trading firm. So um, we're not taking any trades. We're just clients are using our technology to place their own trades. And yeah, the email, you can use my email, my direct email, Eric, E-R-I-K, at altavest.com. In fact, let me do this, folks, before we get going. Here. And then there's the link. And if you have just general questions, you can use info. All right, hopefully that helps. Yeah, and someone's asking about what kind of returns they might expect. Uh, thanks, Pat. You know, really it's, uh, there's really no expectation. We can't predict returns. I'd say you'd wanna look at AV systems and look at the various systems. Um, that you find appropriate and look at their history, look at their largest drawdown, look at their sharp ratio, look at the volatility and give you some idea of what it's done in the past in terms of uh, what, what you might expect in the future. And with DataTrader, you know, you're looking of course, uh, again, at different numbers, just because um, it depends on what strategy you're choosing. I mean, of course, uh, it depends when you place a trade, when you get out of a trade, but, um, Really, it's uh, everyone's going to have different numbers. That's not really, I know, a great answer because people want a specific number, but everyone uses it differently is really the answer. It's like asking, you know, uh, Charles Schwab, you know, what sort of return can you expect if you uh, use their research and their brokerage service? So everyone's different, I guess, is the answer. All right. Well, that will do it, folks. So uh, good feedback, great questions, great comments. And I think I answered everything. Some of the same questions I did receive. Uh, I think I answered those. And if not, let me know. And you've got uh, my email. You've got my phone number. You've got our link there to get yourself signed up. And again, 
we got that guarantee. So if you think you want to do it, get yourself signed up. And I think if it connects with you, then it's probably a good fit. All right. Thanks, everyone. And uh, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. And hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.